OK, well, the four-day work week is slowly transforming from a thing of dreams into a reality, with Medibank expanding its trial. Let's bring in Chief Customer Officer Milos Milicevic and employee Ingrid Live from Melbourne. Good morning, guys. Morning. Nice to see you. Milos, good, uh, to you first of all. It's been six months since the trial started. What are the results like? Uh, thanks for having us. The results have been uh, quite impressive. Uh, we had our doubts uh, halfway through. It was a bit of a hard start, but... We've had the outcome now where people are happier, healthier and more productive. So overall health was up 16 per cent, including uh, things like health where uh, work life balance was better by 30 per cent and people were getting better sleep uh, as well. And the productivity stayed um, at the right levels all the way through, which was uh, quite surprising and, and exactly what we wanted to see. Well, let's drill down on that because there will be a lot of employers who would have concerns over productivity. So what exactly did you notice in these workers who were sent to a four-day work week? Uh, there are a couple of things that work really well. Firstly, when you're trying to take out low-value work, you've got to figure out what the high-value work is. So a lot of the teams spend a lot of time up front really trying to get clear on what are the priorities, what needs to get done, uh, and what can uh, sleep and get moved out. Uh, second thing, they took out a lot of uh, wasted time. Uh, meetings were cut in half in terms of the number and also duration. Mm. And teams got really good at using tools to communicate offline and not having to go to meetings to actually share updates. And then they also changed the processes. So most of us show up to work uh, just doing our job, whereas a lot of these teams were questioning and challenging how work's done and taking out approval cycles and unnecessary handoffs. Ingrid, you took part in the trial. How did you find it? Yeah, I think it was um, it was exciting. We'd definitely been talking about it for a long time. So whilst we felt nerves and uh, I guess a lot of pressure going into the experiment, it's definitely something that we're excited about and um, are very pleased with the results so far. It's fascinating, you know, there are some, obviously some positions and some workforces in which this wouldn't work. But in your workforce, Milosh, could this eventually apply to all of your staff? Uh, we think it could, and part of the trial um, was to actually tackle some of the toughest teams. So a lot of our frontline teams that take calls from customers, uh, we initially got some advice, don't try that because we haven't seen that work well elsewhere. Mm. Uh, whereas 4-Day Week Global said you actually want to try the toughest teams. Um, and they were able to make it work uh, through just a lot of creativity and drive to keep going at it. Uh, and I think when we look at what makes great teams and environments and people bring their most uh, self to work, it's usually flexibility and autonomy. Um, and that's really at the heart of this. And we think every workplace is going to be going down this pathway at some point to, in order to retain and attract the best talent. Ingrid, did you, um, what did you do with your, your fifth day? Um, did you struggle? <laughs> did you think about work a lot? Uh, and how much you missed your colleagues? Um, not necessarily. I think for me, <laughs> uh, I spent my time, uh, I spent my gift day, you know, setting, resetting the house, doing life admin. But I think the challenge for me was actually making sure that I didn't fall back into my old habits. So mm. regularly checking emails or thinking that I had to be available for anything that was happening on Fridays. Tell you what, we all like the sound of a gift day. Yeah, and Milosh, do you think it could work here at the Nine Network? Uh, I think it definitely can. Yes, and thank honestly, you, mate. Nice to talk to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll leave it right there. Thank you both, we appreciate it. Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?